All right, as you can see, I'm wearing the uh, the Kurgan t-shirt for made specially for me by uh, what I think is now from Nameless Bear, Mortal Bear. So uh, so Owen show last night, and it was awesome. I know I look like a walking dead zombie, but that's just sleep deprivation and then catching up with it and jet lag and all that mixed together, but I'm good. I met some awesome bears, uh, chorizo bear in particular, who was uh, really uh, quite interesting to talk with, as he's been, uh, you know, he was uh, in the in the military um, and he served, so a couple of uh, hairy things. Um, jelly bear, which I met, which was really uh, welcome, and a couple of other bears whose names sometimes I'm not that good with, as you all know, but it was awesome. Like the the show was great. And it was what was really the best thing was apparently Indiana was the one that had the most um, social justice warriors attacks and it was packed. It was packed to capacity. And I think people are starting to realize that all you need to do to beat this, you know, globalist nonsense, social justice warriors and all that rubbish, is just show up, just show up. Those people don't have any balls. They don't have any courage. They don't have any stake in the thing. Um, they're just like keyboard warriors, you know, for the most part. <clears throat> just show up and you're fine. And uh, finally met the big bear, shook his hand. We, we had, um, I also met E. Michael Jones, which I just had to check him on the whole Vatican II thing. And that was quite funny because I went up to him and I said, hi, you don't know me. I've only know, known you a little bit from the videos that you've done, but what's your position on Vatican II? And some guy in the crowd said, oh, you wrote a whole book about that. And I was like, well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to E. Michael Jones. And he was like, um, well, I wrote about this and then the position of the, you know, the, the kind of confusion and so on. So he didn't really quite answer the question, in, in my opinion. So I said, uh, OK, so what do you think Bergoglio is Pope? And he said, yeah, Bergoglio is Pope. It's kind of a difficult situation, but Bergoglio is Pope. And I looked at him square in the eye and I said, well, I don't agree with you at all. Bergoglio is not the Pope. And he looked at me and he goes, well, what can I say to that? What are we going to do about it? We're going to argue about it? And I said, no. <laughs> so that was that. But uh, it's a funny thing. <clears throat> I, I'm not really going to post the picture or whatever, but like, you know, my, my, my friend, um, Dane, he, he took a picture of uh, Big Bear and myself and Big Bear was like, strong faces, strong faces. We, we can't be smiling. We have to look like Vikings, you know, and... And I, I couldn't help it. I'm, I'm a happy guy, so I was kind of smiling for most of it. But um, this one picture came out, and Dane took the picture at such an angle where you've got myself, you've got the big bear, and in the background, you've got E. Michael Jones. And he called out to him, hey, Dr. Jones. So e. Michael Jones kind of looking, scowling like that. And it's just a funny picture. It just looks like, you know, big bear and I are kind of hugging. And in the background is E. Michael Jones scowling and it, it's sort of like, you know, you know that meme where you've got all the pretty girls and there's like an ugly chubby girl in the background and she's like really upset. It kind of looked a bit like that. And I thought, you know, the envy of Vatican II. <laughs> so it was just funny to me. But anyway, I'm, I'm not dissing E. Michael Jones. I, I don't know if he's confused or he just can't let go of the boomer idea that Vatican II and, you know, whatever. If, if you don't reject Vatican II, as far as I'm concerned, you're either stupid or a liar. So that's all I'm going to say on that. You're not telling the truth. It's as simple as that. So I know that probably is going to piss off a bunch of you, but it is what it is. I'm not going to bend the truth for anybody. Um, I did tell uh, Big Bear that, you know, we're going to disagree about the moon. And he, he just took it like a man. You know, he didn't, he didn't argue with me or anything. And I told him about, you know, big shouty German man with good mustache shouting in a beer hall about the moon landings being faked. And we all agree about that. But then he said, we didn't go to the moon. And that's when I stand up and I'm like, well, we did. I'm like, well, but you agree the moon landings are fake? Yeah, we agree. Okay, then it's no problem. You know, both teetotalers, because at least he's not vegetarian, right? That, that was the real crime there. Anyway, some of you get that joke, some of you won't. But um, no, it was really good to meet uh, the big bear. I did give him the silver coin. I uh, kept my word, got him the silver, you know, for when the boogaloo happens. And uh, no, it was really great. It was good to see the support that he got from everybody. Uh, met a bunch of really cool bears, met Coddington Bear, met James, the guy that was like doing all the production stuff. 
did a little mini interview for his documentary, for uh, Owen's documentary. I had a little piece of an interview there. And then Coddington very kindly also said, oh, we're going to try and capture a couple of snippets for my documentary, which was very, very useful of him. And uh, um, met Ryan. That's um, had breakfast with Ryan and Coddington, actually. On um, Ryan is uh, Owen's friend that lives next door to him, the trucker. Awesome guy, you know. They were, and uh, turns out that Coddington is a slightly psychotic sigma, I think, which is, it makes me like him more, you know. Uh, Owen told us all about a little. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna repeat any of the jokes, but there's some really funny bits, and, and Coddington has some funny bits himself in the program, so in the show. So, uh, yeah, I suggest all of you hasn't haven't seen it yet, book it. Um, next year, apparently, Owen's going to be in Europe. So I had a very short email between Vox and myself. I'm going to see if I can help um, with that. Uh, if I can help make it happen for Owen in London in some capacity. I don't know. I have to check with some friends of mine that know about these things, and I've done this sort of stuff before. So... We'll look into that. I'm still in the hotel. I'm traveling back really early in the morning. So um, probably won't be another video up until next, uh, you know, this coming week sometime. But it was definitely a worthwhile experience. I met some really cool people. I've now got my uh, sergeant at arms in the US of A. That's Immortal Bear, formerly known as Nameless Bear, also known as Dane Cook. That guy took care of everything. He organized everything. He gave the books to people. He gave the t-shirts to people. He's just sorted everything out. It's like, like I said, sergeant at arms. You can't win a war without those guys, you know? And um, it was just really cool. There's, there's a bunch of good people that uh, a few of them, you know, only a few people turned up to the book signing and all that, but it was really cool because it was intimate and we got to talk and answer everybody's questions. And, you know, a little bit of fault was kind of on us because we didn't really tell people where the book signing was going to be. And it was it was next door to the theater, but we didn't tell anybody. And, you know, we kind of forgot in the winking of it to, to let everybody know exactly where it was. So a bunch of bears were like, where the hell were you guys? We were trying to find you. We're like, oh, shit, we're like two doors down from the theater. So uh, we'll probably try and organize that a little bit better next time. But... Uh, yeah, it was it was really good fun, and uh, all of those of you that I met, thank you very much. We, we exchanged books with a lady that sent me a, a gave me a book about a archangel, which is really interesting, actually. Uh, so there's so a lot of information, a lot of names and contact numbers, and that were passed on. And for a while, because um, I got a, an email that came up as being from it, well, it didn't really come up as being from Alicia, you know, my sound mistress. But it had her name on it, and I quickly scanned it, and I said, oh, that's the number. And so I texted the number, said, hey, where are you? You know, come say hi. But that was actually Coddington's number. So Coddington kept getting the schizophrenic texts from me. Like, I've just spoken to him, and then I'm like, hey, I'm here by the water. You know, come say hello if you're not busy. And he's like, uh, okay, I'm just doing something now with the sound. And I've just, you know, for like half the night, right at the end of the night, I realized, wait, wait a minute, these, these messages don't make sense. And it's like... Let me just check that email again. I was like, oh, that's Coddington's number. So I went up to him and I explained to him, look, dude, if all my messages sound schizophrenic. It's because I thought you were Alicia. So it's like, you know, he's <laughs> like, oh, I was kind of wondering. He was like, that, that's fine. You know, he just took it in stride like a good little psychopath that he is. <laughs> Hi, Coddington. No, he's, he's awesome. I, I really like him. It was, it was good to get to know the, the, the people that we, you know, talk about and joke with. And uh, Owen gave me like, you know, he said it when he started out, we got Dr. Michael Jones here, and we got the Kurgan. And then some guy goes, we got the Kurgan. And, he, and like, Owen's like, yeah, I want to ban that guy. You know, fucking hate heckler. So don't, don't heckle the man. Don't heckle the bear. He'll maul you. He'll maul you. So, um, no, it was, it was good fun. It was really awesome. And uh, it's a long sort of trip and everything, but it's, it's good. It was worth doing. So um, I hope to see all of these people again soon, next year. And uh, hopefully I can make it happen for them too in uh, in Europe somewhere. If I can help, I will help. And uh, thank you all for all of you immortals that are out there and uh, supporting it and made all this possible. Thanks to Dane, Dane and uh, all of you that donated. You know, it was thank you. It was uh, really, I think Dane has now fulfilled all the, um, 
the t-shirts and book requests and whatever but if for some reason somebody got missed out just let us know we'll, we'll sort it you know um that's basically it. it's going to be a short one because i'm doing everything from the phone and i'm kind of losing my voice a little bit so that'll be that until uh, next week sometime um have a good uh what is it today saturday yeah i think it's saturday have a good have a good weekend it's a weekend right good night